Nice reward for uh, work well done on both sides. A lot of work to do on the Marshall side if they're going to defend their national championship. Down by 12 points with 2.45 remaining. One timeout left for the Thundering Herd. Down and out of the shotgun on first down. Sets up a screen to Pedro. He got three. It was well defensed by the Penguins, who also did a good job of keeping Pedro in bounds. They'll go without a huddle. Second and seven upcoming. Donnan complete and then dropped by Ricky Carter. The throw was a little bit low. Pass intended for Carter is incomplete. They're spreading the field successfully, but uh, not working to the to the perimeter receivers, and that's something you've got to do. You know, you're in a situation where you need two touchdowns, and you only got about a minute and 13 seconds left. They'll let you complete everything to the middle of the field. You just burn enough time. Mm -hmm. With the stoppage and play on the incompletion, Marshall went back to the huddle. 2.13 remaining. Donnan deep down the middle and caught. Martin banged down, but he picked up the first down to the 39-yard line of Youngstown State. Andre Mason put the pop. On Martin. They stop the clock to move the change. 2.06 remaining. First and 10 at the 39. Donnan, again with plenty of time, only a three man rush, and he ran into trouble. He had more time in the pocket, but elected to hang on to it and step up, and he lost two yards. And he had Martin open underneath Tim Martin, number one was floating around five or six yards downfield. And Don and Hurd on the Town State lead 17 to 5. And what they've been billing as the rubber match, third year in a row that these two schools have been in the Division I AA National Championship game. And if it stays this way, Jim Don and we'll have some questions to answer about some of the play selections and clock management along the way. Yep. Youngstown State has controlled the game from the start. Marshall has moved the ball with little to show for it in the second half. Donnan looking deep for Will Brown. Intercepted! Vance Mays, the junior from Indianapolis. And the Youngstown State Penguins are on their way to their second national championship in three years. Vance Mays was supposed to start today, and then it was a late uh, adjustment there where Reggie Brown, number seven, started in his place. And here, Todd Dunnan is going to try to loft the ball. He had trips to the right, and he tries to go back to the left after a long delay, and that gives everyone in the secondary time to react up. I thought he was going to signal for the fair catch down here. The ball was up in the air so long. Mays makes the pick off, and a nice little run back slides down, makes sure he doesn't make a mistake with it. Second interception of the year for Vance Mays. Now leading by 12, and with Marshall out of timeouts, the Penguins have a chance to run out the clock. There was a penalty after the interception for unsportsmanlike conduct on each team. Offsetting penalties, so the ball is still at the 10-yard line. There's the bucket. They're going to get Coach Tressel. Run guard takes a knee, and Marshall can't do anything about it. <laughs> Coach Russell says, wait a minute. It's not over just yet. Not willing to break into a smile. It was just like water off a penguin's back. Yes, it was. You know, it really was a surprise year for Marshall to get back to the championship as we talked to everyone about the program, and they thought this was going to be a rebuilding year. What a great effort on the part of the Thundering Herd to get back into the championship game and at their own park. So they would have been happy just to make the playoffs. They lost four All-Americans to graduation at the end of last year. Did Jim Donnan. Three of those players have gone on to the NFL. As I said before, two outstanding coaches, two outstanding staffs, and they produce good football team. And the doubly good news if you're a Youngstown State fan, it would appear that Coach Jim Tressel is not taking the job at the University of Cincinnati. And he'll be back to lead the Penguins toward a defense 
of their second national championship. Third and 13 upcoming. I know why he didn't want that water on him. He had a little time to wait out there. He's going to yeah. be cold. It is chilly now in the 40 degree range. And at age 40, Jim Wallace, uh, Jim Tressel out of Baldwin Wallace, where his father coached for 23 years and won a national championship. And has won his second. They're the only father and son coaches to win national football titles. And they're ready to give him the ride off the field. But the game clock still shows 33 seconds remaining. And they've added to that now. They put 46 back on the clock. Some time, uh, the clock was stopped because uh, some debris was thrown on the field as well. Jim Tressel, already in the words of most of the people we spoke to in the Youngstown State Traveling Party, the most popular man in Youngstown, Ohio, will only add to his reputation. As he brings another national championship back to Youngstown. This will be the last snap. The rubber match goes to the Youngstown State Penguins and Jim Tressel as they make it two out of three in the 1AA National Championship game over the last three years against Marshall. with the presentation from Huntington, West Virginia, right after this. Hello. So, uh, a little bit about the first quarter. You scored all your points basically on three plays. Well, I'll tell you what, those guys came out of the gate, and uh, Tam hit a nice play to start with, and then Darnell hit the home run. And the Teams came up. Play. Oh. Jim to win this thing two out of three and to come back and not let them repeat. It's got to be a special moment. It really is. It's hard to believe. Right. Proud kids. We've got great kids and, and a great institution. And thanks CBS. Thanks NCAA. We love it. Jim, congratulations. Thank Let's you. go back upstairs to Sean McDonough. I think Chuck Boone hit the nail right on the head. Jim Tressel is one class act. They're very proud of him in Youngstown. And you can see he has a great deal of affection for that community. 17 to 5 the final will join Greg Gumbel and Terry Bradshaw right after this.